Hi everyone, let's tackle the fourth question now. We have been told that there are two groups of people who behave differently. A young person infects on average three young people and two old people. An old person on average infects one young person and two old people. And we have been asked to calculate the R number. So this matrix becomes our next generation matrix. And we know the dominant eigenvalue of this matrix will be R0. We will do the calculation first and then the explaining. To calculate the eigenvalue of a matrix, we subtract the symbol for eigenvalue from the diagonal entries and then set the determinant equal to zero. If you evaluate the determinant, you will get the characteristic equation. But for a 2x2 two two matrix, the characteristic equation is very easy to write using this form, so we can skip a number of steps. Trace is just a sum of the diagonal entries, and the determinant is a difference of the product of the cross terms. 3 plus 2 is 5, and 6 minus 2 is 4. Now we need to find two numbers, which sum is minus 5 and which product is 4. So these must be minus 4 and minus 1. So the eigenvalues are 4 and 1, and the bigger of these is R0. Notice the next generation matrix is positive because all the entries are positive. So parent theorem tells us that the dominant eigenvalue is positive and real. And that's what we found, so Perrin is right. Now, what does this R0 represent? An average growth from one generation to the next. So assume we start with one young infective and zero old infectives. If we pre-multiply this vector by the next generation matrix, we get the next generation distribution of infectives. Let's collect the distribution over time in the lower panel. If we then pre-multiply this vector, by NGM again, we get the next generation distribution, and we can keep repeating this process. Now, we can calculate the total number of infectives for each generation. And we see the number of infectives grows from one generation to the next. The growth factor stabilizes to four, which is exactly the dominant eigenvalue. And we know R0 tries to measure this very same concept, so maths does not lie. And if you happen to be in a scientific committee meeting where there's no time for mental calculation of eigenvalues, then we know a young person infects five people in total and an old person infects three. So the average is four and that's our R0. We hope you enjoyed the video and look forward to seeing you in the next.